In this video tutorial, okay, we will be walking through on how to prepare this um, structure for analysis and after that we will walk through on creating a custom materials for analysis. Now this uh, structure that you see here it was created using the Wellman's tool and all these different structural members are listed under this folder on the feature manager called cut list. Okay, if you see this cut list folder, you click on the plus sign and you can see all the different members that were created as multi bodies. So before we can run an analysis, let's simplify this uh, problem by shift selecting all these members, right click on them and combine them into a single body. So just select the add option and hit OK. Okay, you should be able to see one huge body at the, at the end of the day. Okay, now the next thing we would like to do is we would like to create our own materials for analysis. So in SolidWorks, okay, there is a, this folder here called materials. Currently, none is specified. Okay, that's why you see the default gray color on the model itself. So if you want to apply a material, just right click on the materials folder. You can select from this list of materials here. If they're not listed here, you can click on this option called edit material. Okay, and you will fire up a whole list of SOLIDWORKS material, such as the different kinds of steel, iron, aluminium, etc. Okay, so for this structure, we would like something made out of wood. So if you expand the woods folder, you can see different materials from balsa wood okay, with all the material properties such as elastic modulus, uh, maybe 3000 per newton per mm square, etc. Okay, if you have got this uh, material properties, you can key them in to create your custom materials. Okay, so I'm going to use this uh, balsa example. Okay, I'm going to modify this to convert this into uh, MDF or medium density fiberboard. So if I want to reuse these properties, right click on this material and select copy. Okay, and then after that, okay, you may want to create a own custom folder. Okay, so this I've already created a folder called wood. So just right click on wood and select paste. And you notice I have imported the balsa from the library and copied and ad made another copy uh, for our custom materials. And as I click on this material, okay, you notice that now all these fields are available for me to key in. Okay, so I have already uh, modified them. So let's say for balsa wood, okay, this one, uh, the elastic modulus will be 3500. Okay, just update it. Okay. Okay, and for density, okay, will be this value over here, 0 0.000775. Okay, so just place in this value. Okay, and you are able to rename this file as well. So just click on the name. So I will type in custom MDF. Okay, so once you're okay, just save the data and you'll notice that you, already, you have already created your custom materials. So just select the material you would like to apply and click on apply. Okay, so once you're done, you'll notice that uh, you can see uh, the preview of the material that you have just applied okay and because you have assigned a density uh, from your materials okay and you are modeling something in 3d which contains volume you are able to get the software to tell you what is the total mass of your model okay so if to check the mass you go to this tab called evaluate and click on mass properties there you go so the mass for this is about 440 grams Okay, so yep. So in this lesson, okay, we have learned how to prepare the model for analysis and we have learned how to create your custom materials for analysis.